Yes. Why does the moon wax and wane? Quacky has made a new friend recently. It is round and bright, hanging high in the sky. Connect them in order to see who Quacky's new friend is. It's the round moon. Moon, moon, who is the smartest duckling in the world? Quacky likes to chat with the moon. Although the moon doesn't talk, it always quietly keeps Quacky company. A few days later, Quacky comes to look for the moon again. Moon, moon, here I come. Tap to find the moon. A strange thing happened. The round moon is gone. There is only one semi-round moon in the sky, like a sliced watermelon. My moon is round and chubby. This is not my moon. Where did the round moon go? Quacky finds out some footprints on the ground. Whose footprints are they? I know. These are the footprints of a thief. Someone stole the moon. Follow the footprints to see. Connect them in order to see where the moon thief has gone. Stop! We found the owner of the footprints. Look, it's holding a round object. Could that be the moon? Shine a flashlight on it and see who it is. Ah, who is shining a flashlight at me? It's the little cat. The round thing is its ball of yarn. The little cat is not the moon thief. I'm sorry, little cat. The round moon is gone. I thought you were the moon thief. Moon thief? <laughs> Look closely, Quacky. The moon hasn't been stolen at all. It's up there in the sky. It's just that it's not round now. Kids, where is the moon? Point it out to Quacky. The moon was not stolen, but why is it not round anymore? Let's wait a few more days. Maybe the moon will be around again. Is it true that the moon will become round? <laughs>